Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. A short, quick and dirty video today about uh, configuring your Mesh-tastic node. I did realize that uh, a lot of people actually make mistakes the first time, and I wanted to show you how to do that. So uh, you go to flash.meshtastic.org and uh, then you have to, uh, to choose your device. I have the uh, Heltec V3, which I already flashed, but you know, I'm going to do it just once again, just for you. Heltec V3, and then uh, I'll have to choose the, uh, the version. And of course, you will pick the latest. So make sure you have the right device here, and then pick the latest version under Stable. So that's this one. And then I'm going to click on Flash. Now that's the change log. That's all the new features that uh, that they have. I don't really care about that. And I'm going to do a Flash firmware full erase and uh, install. So that's for a new card, uh, a new node. So erase Flash and install. I choose the uh, USB device. Uh, it should be this one. Connect and the flashing begins. Now you have uh, basically three steps uh, that occur here and you're going to see the uh, the countdown in uh, with the uh, percentage. So there are more than one step. It does take a few minutes. By the way, never plug in your uh, node without an antenna. You can damage it. You can fry the uh, output transistor. So always have an antenna uh, plugged in. We are going to go to the, uh, it will go here to the, uh, the second part. Almost finished uh, for, for this uh, step anyway. takes a bit of time. All right, OTA partition. And then uh, flashing the file system uh, partition. Those are basically the uh, three steps. All right, so uh, it's about finished. Uh, once that happened, you will see messages, log messages that uh, will show the battery level. Of course, there's no battery on this Heltec at this time. So uh, basically you can just unplug your card, restart it, and then we'll connect to it and do the, uh, the basic minimal configuration. All right, so don't forget to turn on your uh, Bluetooth, otherwise uh, you won't connect to the card. And you can see it uh, right there under available radios. I connect to it. I don't have a screen, I mean, it's broken. So I did set a uh, fixed pin, but otherwise you use the pin code that uh, shows up on your screen. And connect. Now, the first thing you're going to set up is the uh, settler region. So the region, uh, of course, here we are talking about Europe. So I'm going to choose uh, European Union 868 megahertz. 868 is the mostly, mostly used in Europe. Of course, in the US, it would be 915. All right, so uh, you're going to leave long range fire otherwise uh, you won't hear anyone because everybody is on long fast and uh, you make sure that uh, you actually do click ignore mqtt the problem with mqtt is that uh, you're going to flood your uh, local network with uh, stuff from mqtt stations from MQTT, so not the best thing to do. You can always change it later anyway, So, but for now, just uh, click on Ignore MQTT. Enable Transmit, yes. Leave the hops on three, number of hops. 
that's no problem. And uh, then we have RX Boosted Gain, that's for uh, cards like the uh, Heltec V3 or uh, RAK, the Rack, uh, the SX, uh, I think 1662 uh, chip, so uh, that's good, that's a preamp. All right, so now I go under User. I'm going to change the long name and I uh, use uh, Gilles 2 and then I put, uh, since it's a Heltec V3, I put HV3. You can put whatever you want in there, but short name is limited to four characters. I put uh, Gilles 2, that's my second card, my second node, so... All right, save. Now we're going to go under um, LoRa, and uh, I just verify that I have a European Union 868. Also, a long fast, long range fast. Ignore MQTT, that's good. And uh, uh, transmit enabled, and that's about it. In user config, the names are okay. Licensed operator, if you are a ham operator, do not put your uh, call sign in there because it's not a ham band. So don't use it, but you also lose the encryption. So um, you can use it if you're on 433 and uh, use a little more power, otherwise you don't have to. All right, so moving on, device. Device role, uh, leave that on client. Uh, you will change that if you're building uh, a node that's going to be a uh, repeater. So for now, just uh, leave, leave it at, you know, as client. It's a regular node, basically, and you, you can see that later if you want to uh, build other kinds of nodes. Rebroadcast mode, or basically you want your node to retransmit messages to everyone. Then we have node info broadcast interval. Three hours is a bit high. Uh, so I would put one hour. And I even think that in the phone app, you can set that to a, n a number of seconds. And I pick uh, 900 seconds. If you have more people in your area that, you know, it starts to, to build up, then you will increase that value in order not to uh, pollute the airwaves with uh, lots of messages from your node. Save. Uh, position. Uh, on the position menu, I do click on smart position. Uh, minutes interval, I, uh, I'd rather put one minute there. Again, no need to uh, pollute the airways with too many uh, position reports. And minimal distance, I put 150 meters, which means that uh, your node will transmit your position either every minute or if you go further than 150 meters from your last point, from your last position. All right, uh, for the GPS, uh, number of satellites, I don't care. Heading, uh, car heading, I don't care. Vehicle speed, I don't care. So just basically the altitude. Uh, that's about it. It, uh, the other stuff, uh, you can all check that, you know, you can check that out later. But uh, it's not required for the, the minimal, minimum uh, configuration, so basically all set. In the app now, which uh, this is the Mac Macintosh app, but uh, uh, on the phone it's a little different, but the menus are the same, basically. I see my list of nodes here, and we are a pretty good team around here. We have quite a few nodes, and it's growing. Uh, and in messages, you have the channel here, primary channel, which is again long fast. No messages right now, but uh, you know, when it's busy, uh, there are quite a few sometimes. And that's about it, guys. I hope this helps you. Uh, this was done really, really quickly. <laughs> so don't hesitate to ask questions. And uh, that's it for this one. Have a good one.